Welcome to Huckins. My name is Anna Wiebus and this is my 10th summer at camp. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make microwave puff paintings. Um, so for this um, activity, you're going to need a couple of ingredients. First of all, you're going to need a cup of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt, which our lovely chef Joel has put in this Tupperware container for us already. Um, you're going to need a cup of water. It doesn't matter exactly how much, just enough so we can end up pouring it in here to make it look a little bit like pancake batter. Um, you're going to need a spoon to mix all of this up with, um, three plastic baggies to eventually paint with, a pair of scissors to cut the bags, paper to paint on, as well as food coloring to make your paints different colors. So like I said, the flour, baking soda, and salt have already been put in this plastic Tupperware container. Um, and has been mixed up. So now I'm just gonna take my water and pour in only a little bit at a time so as not to make it too much. So I'm gonna pour in a little bit, mix it up. Obviously it is still too dry, but it's better to have less than more. So just keep on pouring it in until again, you want it to look kind of like you are about to make pancakes. This is what the mixture should look like right before you divide it into the three plastic bags um, evenly so that we can put some food coloring in it. Okay, so once you have your batter or paint divided in the three baggies, um, you're gonna take your food coloring. Here I have yellow, red, and blue for my three colors. And you're just going to, most food coloring is pretty potent, so you only need one or two drops in um, the batter. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow, close the baggie, and mix it around a little bit so it gets, gets everywhere. Gets all around in there. Might take a second, but be patient because eventually it'll spread. So once you feel like your batter is mostly the color of the food coloring, you want to take your fingers and again, make sure the bag is sealed. And try and get all of it to go into one corner. Once it's all in that corner, I'm gonna let the air out of the bag. You can squeeze it all down like that and twist it around a little bit so that it's all at the bottom of the bag. So just repeat these steps for all of the other colors that you want and then we can start painting. Okay, now that you have all of your colors in the tips of your baggies, you're going to take your scissors and cut off a small amount of the at the end of your bag in order to make like a piping tip almost. Um, and you can then just take your blank sheet of paper and start painting. Now that you finish your painting, you can lay it flat inside your microwave. Close the door and put 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, once the 30 seconds is up on your microwave, you can open it up and see your super cool and dry puff painting. Um, so yeah, this is a really awesome painting that we did. I would love to see your guys' paintings as well. I hope you have so much fun doing this, being creative with your art, and have an Ellie day.